Yo, what is good everyone? DBZoom back at you with a brand new video and for today's video guys, we will be talking about Battle Gauntlet, a brand new mode in Dragon Ball Legends and, and I'll tell you guys what, I logged in Dragon Ball Legends, let me, let me just show you what time it is right now, okay? Really quick, alright, it's 4.13am for me and I'm about to record 3 to 4 videos for you guys. Uh, should take like about an hour or two then i'm gonna go fast asleep but hopefully you know uh, you know i can get these videos out as quickly as possible because the reason why i'm recording at 4 13 a.m is because i stayed up till 3 a.m to uh you know uh wait for this update and guys i am so happy with this update for a multitude of reasons and i'm gonna make a dedicated video on that specifically now there are some little bit of bad changes but uh, the, the good changes for sure overshadows and this is one of them here guys battle gauntlet is pretty much a brand new rotational uh, event that's going to stick with Dragon Ball Legends and I already like it more than Tournament of Power. So let's break down a quick guide of uh, Battle Gauntlet guys. So Battle Gauntlet, like I said, it's a rotational event that stays around for every three weeks. So, uh, you know, I thought it would give a little bit more crystals, but you know, if it's a rotational event where, it, you know, it's here to stay, then I don't mind it at all. So Pretty much, it comes around every three weeks. I wish it was every two weeks, but, you know, whatever. It's still here, so. Uh, pretty much, there is a total of 100 stages. This time around, pretty much, we're going to face Jiren, right? So, every, every pretty much, uh, reset, I would say, every three weeks, we get a brand new character. This time around, every single character that we battle throughout one, uh, from, from stage one to 100 is pretty much going to be all purple units that means you have to bring in yellow units guys so if you guys are thinking yeah 100 stages is kind of grindy which it is they actually implemented something to uh kind of make it a little bit less grindy and i'm gonna show you and they still need to adjust some stuff with this mode which i'm gonna explain as well uh but overall guys we can collect a grand total of 700 chrono crystals which is you know i'm gonna record a video after this of exactly how much chrono crystals we can collect this weekly reset because guys we we have this event we got the brand new kaba event i mean we got i, I don't want to spoil everything because i, I want to put everything in my how to uh, get crystals uh guide uh for you guys and i'm gonna um, I'm, I'm gonna pretty much just make sure that I'll, i'm gonna emphasize for you guys uh to save all your crystals for black friday or a majority of your crystals so uh here we go guys 700 crystals up for grabs here now um like i said all the all the units you're gonna face your enemies is pretty much gonna be purple so you have to bring in yellow and um okay these are all the battle bonus units right so there's not much battle bonus units there's actually uh five maybe even six is there six no there's five right so there's five so uh, we have super Saiyan blue evolution vegeta we have tournament of power 17 we have a rebrian extreme uh we have champa and then we have uh rosie so yeah, you know, you guys should have a majority of these characters. And if you guys don't, so far from what I've experienced, I literally just logged on. It's not that hard in the beginning stages. I'm only like level 14. But as we get higher to the like level uh, 70 to 100 where we can't skip anything, uh, which I'll discuss in just one bit, uh, then things are going to get, I I'm, I'm assuming, more difficult. But it shouldn't really be that difficult if if you guys have ever played challenge rushes in dragon ball legends you guys know that that was pretty much the most difficult event that we got and i don't think this is going to be more difficult than that i mean you never know because i haven't got there yet but i just don't think so now really quick these are all the rewards every five stages you're going to face a boss so i already cleared stage uh 5 10 and next up is 15 for me so uh you can see all the rewards we can get you know 10 for uh, stage 15 and then 10 10 10 10 and it keeps gradually getting higher all the way up to 700 last stage you get 150 so it equates to 700 crystals guys which is pretty good um you know and pretty much if you guys decide to battle uh you click battle and here are all the uh, battle bonus units and you can see exactly uh you know what they uh what they you know contribute to in, in terms of buffs and this is the team that i'm gonna bring in guys it's really not a big deal at all i just put in hit as the last slot to buff yellow units but it, it's you you can you know play around with it i'll play around with it when things starts getting challenging but uh you click start battle it's very very easy guys you click start battle and then there's an option down here where it says quick battle unavailable from floor 70 so once you hit floor 70 you cannot uh, uh use quick battle and quick battle is pretty much this so let's just do it let's just click these three units 
and it automatically battles like a quick battle, you know, because if, if, if you were just to go into, uh, you know, the stages normally, uh, it's just a little bit time consuming. Now, I wish that we can quick battle multiple, um, uh, multiple stages, like from stages 10 uh, to 15, 15 to 20 to make it a little bit less grindy, but you know, I'll take it. And by the way, guys, if you clear all stages, you also get 1000 rare metals, which is really significant. Um, you know, considering that you're actually valuable now in case a free to play, uh, you know, or even summonable ultra unit comes around, you're going to need these rare metals. So, um, yeah. And, and besides this guys, they've made a ton, a ton of crazy cool changes. And I want to dedicate a video on that as well. So like I said, it's four o'clock. So after this, I'm, I'm going to record a how to get crystals guide to save for black Friday, which I believe is going to be a brand new ultra unit. And there we go, guys. Look at that. Boom. We get 10 crystals now. Something to note here, which is a little bit confusing, is that uh, these 10 crystals that you guys see here is not extra crystals that you get. So what I mean by that is if you guys go to your missions uh, right here really quick, you guys can see that uh, there's a specific tab uh, or event mission tab for Battle Gauntlet. Now, for Battle Gauntlet, as you guys can see, we can collect a grand total of 700 crystals here for every five uh, floors, aka boss fights that we fight. Uh, this you cannot collect. I don't even know why it's here. Like it shouldn't even be here. Uh, it, it literally beats all the purpose of it being here. Why would it be here? It makes absolutely no sense because we automatically collect it through the event. So at first I thought we got 1,400 crystals because uh, you know, we, we collected, you know, automatically, as you guys just saw, uh, crystals from me beating a boss battle and then as well as, um, you know, me from the missions, but the missions is, is already automatically calculated and collected. So it makes no sense for it to be in the missions. Uh, that's something I believe they're going to change in the future because, you know, they always make these little, you know, twerks and, and, and you know, quirks and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty simple. Like I said, I'm very curious to see how the last stage is going to be or... Uh, you, you cannot skip like this from, uh, you know, uh, I believe from stage 70. So you can't skip from stage 70 and they're sending me uh, a notifications, but you cannot skip dudes. <laughs> Stop sending me notifications. Uh, you cannot skip from stage 70. So uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's going to be a little bit more difficult. And by the way, if you lose one of these uh, for some reason, let's, let's see, I have 8,000 health. They just took 300,000. If you lose one of these automatic battles, uh, it just pretty much means that you have to actually have to play the match. Uh, and it's too difficult for your auto battle. So that's all it means. It's not a big deal, guys. But um, some changes that I would make is I would hopefully make this quicker, these auto battles, since there's 100 stages. I would hopefully make it from every five stages to auto battle five stages at once, like 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 25 to 20 uh, to 30, and stuff like that, instead of one by one, because it's a little bit tedious from what I can see. And I wish they just rounded it up to 1,000 crystals, because why not? I mean... They kept it at 700 crystals, but I'll go into discussions of what they changed about the crystals that we can grind because they actually kind of nerfed something in the back end, but overall they buffed everything, but they did nerf some stuff on some certain events, which I'm going to discuss in some details on my next video, which I'm going to probably post a few hours right after you guys watch this one. Uh, so yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on, guys. Uh, the UI system, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to make a full video on that, but uh, everything is looking phenomenal and I believe they're setting up absolutely everything for Black Friday. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm in floor 20 right now. I'll probably make a tweet of how hard, uh, you know, stage 70 from 100 is. And uh, if you guys need any help, I'll make another video on this for sure. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, um, you know, like, same thing, but uh, subscribe and share it to your friends and I'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.